Hey, my name is Gwem and welcome back to the Gwembassy. So today I want to talk about some modifications I've made to this, which is the Moog Werkstatt. Now Moog released this um, and we're hoping that people would make mods to it and, uh, and there are a few of these on YouTube and some of them are quite wild and wacky. Now what I've done is to make the mods quite simple and straightforward. I'll take you through what I've done and um, if you like them you can maybe do the same thing on your Werkstatt as well. Now first of all I'm going to talk about the visual modifications made. Now normally this is a plain black case and the knobs all look like this, these very small 6mm knobs which are directly PCB mount pots. What I've done is to fit these nice reflector knobs to all of the knobs except for the glide knob which I felt didn't really need one because I don't really use it and it looks kind of cool with it being small so I just left that. These knobs you can find quite easily on eBay and there's like a grub screw in the bottom and you put them on top and just tighten them up it's very easy. I did make the tuning knob a little bit larger as you can see I've applied this vinyl sticker which is a bit like the Moog Sirin synth. Normally this is black and looks a bit plain. I think it looks a lot better with this sticker on it. It's another purchase from eBay. You have to be a little bit careful though. So the, the sticker is for the Moog Werkstatt, the original Moogfest edition. Whereas this is actually a Revision 2 Werkstatt, so it's a bit different with the gate in and out. You have to be aware if you're not using this expander that the labelling for the, the pins on the expansion port are a bit wrong. But since I'm using the expander it just covers up that anyway so it doesn't really matter and I think it looks brilliant. Let's talk about the mods I've made on the inside now. One of my favourite synths, the Roland SH-101, allows you to use the gate signal for the VCA so you just have it either on or off and there's no envelope as such. I wanted to do the same thing with the Werkstatt but the problem is that if you plug in a gate signal into the VCA CV in you do get quite a noticeable click when the gate engages and disengages so I wanted to fix that. This mod is around the decay control on the board. As you can see, I've soldered a 22 microfarad capacitor between the housing of the decay control and the jumper, which is above it. I tried a few different values and 22 microfarads softens the transient with the gate just enough to stop it from becoming annoying. Be careful about the orientation of the capacitor. Make sure the negative leg is connected to the casing of the decay pot, which is ground. Also, make sure you get a high enough voltage capacitor. Uh, the gate signal can be up to 10 or 12 volts. I've used a 16 volt uh, tetalium bead here, so that should be sufficient. One disadvantage of this mod is that it will soften the frequency response of the VCA CV in. So if you wanted to get harsh kind of ring mod effects, you will notice that they are softened. But it's much easier just to use that VCA CV in as a gate, uh, you know, just if you're playing with a keyboard or whatever. So for me, this mod is great and uh, I would recommend it if you're having problems with a click on that input. So I've got the key step connected up to the, the MOOC vert stut. The CV output is connected to the exponential FM and the gate output is connected via this green wire to the gate in and I've just got like a simple analog sound. Now here's the little patch that I like to do. So I take the gate signal and I patch the gate signal also not only into the gate in but also into the VCA in. This allows you to separate the length of the note from the, the decay of the filter. Now before the mod whenever you played a note you get a click at the start and the end of the note. I wish I'd done a before all video but you'll just have to take my word for it that that's now fixed.
Anyone who's used a Moog Werkstatt will know that the tuning is incredibly sensitive. You just have that small six millimeter pot shaft to control the tuning and it gives you an extremely wide range, which is about eight octaves. I already explained how I've put a large knob on the tuning control. That does give you quite a bit more fine control, but it's still very sensitive. Now, this modification will reduce that range from eight octaves down to two octaves, which makes it quite a lot more controllable, especially in conjunction with the larger knob. Cut the third leg of that pot. You bend up the leg and in between the casing of the pot, which is connected to the ground, and the third leg, which you've lifted up, you need to solder a 15k resistor and that will reduce the range from eight octaves down to two. So I'm going to demonstrate the tuning mod. So I'm going to press a C on the key step and then I'll demonstrate the new range of the tuning knob. So there's the lowest setting which is an F sharp. There's a second F sharp. And it finishes at about C sharp. So that's about an octave and a half range. And I've positioned the center of the knob so that pressing a C corresponds to a C note roughly. The combination of having this larger knob and the reduced range of the control makes it quite a lot easier to tune than the stock unit. I hope you found these Werkstatt mods interesting. If you use them yourself and you find them useful, just drop a comment. You're welcome to use them, of course, but I'd be interested to see if uh, anyone actually does. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care and I hope to see you in another video soon. Bye-bye.